Have you ever thought about how everything in nature is interconnected and how we all depend on each other to thrive? In a lush, vibrant forest, spring had arrived, painting the landscape with a tapestry of blooming flowers. The air was filled with the sweet aroma of nectar and the forest buzzed with life. At the heart of this buzzing was the queen bee, who, with her fellow bees, had made a decision to build a hive in this flourishing forest. As they began their industrious work, collecting nectar from the flowers, a rumble of discontent arose. The mango tree, tall and proud, expressed his displeasure at the bees' activities. He voiced his concerns to his fellow trees, describing the bees as thieves, extracting nectar and planning to build their home within their branches. His words resonated with the other trees, stirring them into action. And so, the trees made a pact, deciding to expel the bees from their branches. The mango tree, with his dense branches, seemed like the perfect home for the bees. As they approached, buzzing with anticipation, the mango tree had a different plan. With a mighty shake, he declared, You are not allowed to make a nest over me. I will not entertain you. The queen bee, her voice gentle but firm, pleaded with the tree. We mean no harm, she said. We only seek shelter and food. But the mango tree was unmoving, shaking his branches once more in a clear sign of rejection. The bees, their hopes dashed, sought solace with the banyan tree. But the banyan tree, influenced by the mango tree's decision, also began to swing, echoing the same sentiment. You make the unnecessary collection of nectar. We will not allow you to build a nest over any of the trees of this forest. The bees, their spirits broken, begged for a place to call home, but their pleas fell on deaf ears. One by one, each tree denied them a place to build their nest. The bees had no choice but to leave. Their dreams of a safe and secure home shattered. The forest, once a place of beauty and promise, was now an unwelcome landscape. The trees stood tall and unyielding, their branches empty of the buzzing life that had once sought refuge there. With heavy hearts, the bees left the forest they had hoped to call home. In another part of the forest, danger was looming. Woodcutters had arrived, their axes glinting in the sunlight. They eyed the dense trees with greedy anticipation, planning to cut them down and collect their wood for their own use. Unbeknownst to them, their intentions were overheard by a quick-witted monkey whose home was threatened by their plan. This clever monkey, understanding the gravity of the situation, knew he couldn't confront the woodcutters alone. He needed allies. And so he thought of the bees. Despite the bees' previous rejection by the forest, the monkey believed in their good nature and rushed off to seek their help. Upon hearing the monkey's plea, the bees didn't hesitate. They remembered their old home, the forest that had once rejected them, now in need of their help. With a sense of purpose, they swiftly flew back to their former abode, ready to defend it. As the woodcutters raised their axes to strike, a buzzing sound filled the air. Suddenly, they were engulfed in a swarm of bees, their stings sharp and persistent. The woodcutters, taken by surprise, dropped their axes and ran, leaving the forest untouched. As the woodcutters fled, the forest breathed a sigh of relief. The trees, once so quick to reject the bees, had their lives saved by them. In the quiet that followed, the forest learned a valuable lesson about unity, gratitude, and the importance of every creature, no matter how small. In the quiet aftermath, the trees realized the error of their ways. The once proud mango tree, humbled by the events, extended its branches to the queen bee. I was wrong, he confessed. I did not understand your role in our forest. Please return and make your home amongst my leaves. The queen bee, gracious in her acceptance, led her buzzing swarm back to their beloved forest. They set to work immediately, building their new hive in the heart of the mango tree. The forest once again was filled with the sweet hum of industry. This tale, dear listeners, unfolds a profound moral. It teaches us the significance of unity, of cohabitation, and of lending a helping hand to those in need. Even if past actions have caused pain, it's never too late to correct our mistakes and embrace compassion. And so, the bees and the trees lived in harmony, each understanding their importance to the other, each playing their part in the grand scheme of nature.